G'day, welcome back. Today we're looking at node structure in DaVinci Resolve, but we're not talking about our node tree. Today we are talking about our pre-clip nodes, clip node, post node, and our timeline node. We're gonna talk about what you should put in what and how one can change your entire look of your project. So just a quick heads up, I might be color grading a feature film very shortly. So this might be the last video for a few weeks. I'm also working on a music video that I'm supposed to be doing that at the same time. So everything is a little bit hectic at the moment. So my free time is a little bit not free, but anyway, I will try and do my best. So first of all, let's quickly have a look at what's going on here. I have a color space transform on this node here, and this is for an Ari camera. So these are my settings here. Now in my timeline node, which is our last node, I have a color space transform. And also I have a LUT down here, which currently is turned off. Now also in my clip timeline, I have some Sony footage here, which I'm working with. Now I haven't done anything to it at the moment. All I've done is a color space transform. I've done no balancing or ratio exposure, etc., etc. I've just kept it as is. Now, if we go back to our first clip here and we put on this LUT we're working with, we actually have a pretty good looking image. Now I've done a little bit of balancing on this image here, quite an interesting look and something that I could definitely work with. If we were to put this same LUT on our Sony footage, what do you think is gonna happen? Now looking at our Sony footage here, this LUT isn't working for our footage. It's just not the right fit for the look we're going for. Now we could go back and we can do some balancing, maybe reduce some of this saturation, et cetera, et cetera. But in my mind, I don't think this LUT is really gonna work for it. So what is the workaround for this problem? Well, it's quite easy. What we can do, we can use groups. So in our Sony footage here, we can right click. Before I move on, when you're in the timeline section here, you can't actually create a new group. You actually have to go back to your clip level up here. Then you go down, right click. Now we can add this clip into a new group. So we're gonna add it into a new group here. So just go down to here, add into new group, and we'll call it Sony. Now we have four little dots up the top here. So we have our pre-clip one, group pre-clip. Then we have our clip base, which we do all our corrections, et cetera, et cetera. Then we have our host one here. Then we have our timeline here. Now, a good way to think about it is trying to keep your node tree as clean as possible and not cluttered. So what can we put in our pre-clip that we're not gonna go back and change? Well, we're gonna have noise reduction, so we're not gonna change that. And we're gonna have color space transform. So these two here, we could just chuck these in our pre-clip. So we can either make a new node, so Alt S, and we could simply do a color space transform into this one and a noise reduction on this one, or we could just come across and then copy each one of these onto here. With our LUT, what we can do, we can get rid of our timeline LUT here. So now a LUT isn't affecting this image here. Then if we wanted to put a LUT on, we'd put it in our post clip. Now, if we go back to our first clip, we don't have that LUT on anymore. So what we need to do with this one is also put this one into a group. So we can just right click, add into new group, and we'll call it Ari. I forgot how to spell that. Then what we're gonna do to put that LUT back on our footage so it doesn't affect our Sony footage is we're gonna come up to our post clip and then post that LUT onto this footage here. Now we have that LUT posted on, we have this nice looking image again. Now let's jump back to our Sony clip and see if that LUT has affected that clip. We don't have that LUT affecting this clip anymore and we can put any old LUT on this footage here knowing that it's not gonna affect our Ari clip here. Now there's one other thing that I wanna talk about and this was the original idea of the video before I started making it. And that is if you're working in a LUT that works with DaVinci Wide Gamut, which is the color space we're working in today, always make sure it's in your post clip or it is before your color space transform in your timeline. So I'm just gonna give you a quick example here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
copy this node here, and then we're gonna turn it off. Actually, before we do that, let's grab a still of this image. Now let's turn this node off here. Let's go back to our post clip and we'll turn this one off too. Then let's put that color space transform on in our post clip. Then I'm gonna copy this light across into my timeline. Now I'm gonna paste it on. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that LUT on and remember now it is working in the timeline area. So control D to turn it on. So let's go full screen and let's look at the LUT in the post clip and then look at the LUT in the timeline space. So this image here is working in a timeline area with our LUT working in our post clip area. Now let's swap over and let's see what it looks like when we have our LUT working in our timeline and a color space transform working in our post clip. Our image looks awful. The LUT isn't working in the proper color space and our color space transform isn't working in the right order. Now we have a really funky, funky looking image. And that is because our LUT is working after our color space transform when it should be working before our color space transform. Now I know that sounds really obvious and really basic, but it may be confusing to someone who hasn't done this before because when you think of post you think of last so just remember that the order up here is the order you want to have your node set up so anything in the pre so i'm talking noise reduction color space transform your initial color space transform your idt then you'd go across in your clip and this is where you would do your color correction and color grading then you'd want to come across and this is where you'd put your lut if you'd like or if not you can go to your timeline, have your color space transform last. And then you would have your LUT before your color space transform here. So anyway, I hope that helps you out a little bit. Uh, I hope that makes it a little bit easier for you guys to understand. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment below anything you want to see. I've been Drew and have a great day.